Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday and it's the first day we're going kayaking. But before we do that, I must go to the post office. Quite a few orders here. These are the deluxe subscriptions, most of them. And then I have the mini subs I still have to do. So super jazzed to get those out on the day one. It usually doesn't happen. I get them out on the 5th to the 10th of every month. But this girl got them out on the 1st. And then our guidebooks for Japan are here. So we got this one, and then we got a specific like Tokyo one. So can't wait to read those. We went to Barnes and Noble and like checked them out and saw which ones we liked compared to the other ones. And these two are our favorites. So yeah, I got around to the post office because our post office has this like no bulk orders after three. And I'm pretty sure it's about us, but they've never directly said to us that we can't bring orders after three. But I don't want to be that person that does and they hate me and I have to keep making them cookies every couple of weeks so that they get your orders to you in a normal fashion. Oh, if you're wondering why there is a bench in our living room, it actually broke when we had people over for our murder mystery. So Alex was just fixing it. So it should be fixed. I'm about to sit on it, put my shoes on. But yeah, it kind of like snapped when people were sitting on it and we were like, oh no. So we added like brackets and stuff to it. I'm very excited for kayaking if you can't tell. But yesterday I did a hit class. It was like the hardest workout of my life. So I am so sore. So we're only gonna do our neighborhood lake today because I think I'll like float away and die if I try any other body of water, but okay. I have like 10 minutes to get to the post office. It's like 10 minutes away, gotta go. So I may listen to the uh, Hacky Turtle CD a little too much. don't know we discovered the hacky turtles a couple of weeks ago now it was in a vlog so you can go check it out i will link it above but we are possibly gonna see them again tomorrow they are local so they go to all like the local breweries and things so we're basically like hardcore groupie stalking them now and i really want to go tomorrow we have this like founders um, like networking event at founders the networking event at Founders, but then we're hoping that we can stop by where they're going tomorrow. Oh, I just love them. They're so good. If you haven't listened to the Hacky Turtles, I will link them below. They have just such a cool eclectic vibe. They're like red hot chili peppers meets John Mayer with like cool acoustic talent. I'm just a huge fan. All right, guys, we got the kayaks. So you're gonna go in your little kayaking proof case. Get in the kayak. So cool. So I am very weak and I just kind of fly around everywhere. So we've been practicing what would happen if Alex needs to tow me. So cook, cooking some potatoes, we're doing steak. We're doing this, which is so cool. Um, but I don't, but the recipe's on the back. Um, but on another level, Right, on, a, on another thing. I know Kayla mentioned that we're going to see possibly the Hacky Turtles tomorrow, which is this band that's in Grand Rapids that we love. Uh, but have you ever seen someone so talented but be so bad at selling that talent? Like, um, like this is how I imagine people felt about like Picasso. Like, oh my gosh, you're, or not Picasso. Who's the one that starved and was homeless? Van Gogh. Van Gogh, right? Like, he has a whole museum to him, right? Like, he, he, he's an entire inspiration, but at the time when he was alive, before he promoted himself or anything like that, it just like, meh, 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 he like couldn't feed himself. That's how I feel about the Hacky Turtles. They are, I've listened to their album in two weeks, probably about 24, 25 times, um, nonstop. They are just such a good jam band. They have really good music. They, at first I wasn't crazy about them. And then the music kept getting catchier and catchier. Um, and then all of a sudden I was hooked and, and I love everything they make. It's so, it's so weird that they have like a hundred YouTube followers or like 200 Instagram followers. And it's like, you guys are like on the level, like they sound totally normal coming on right after another like hip hop artist or another like red hot chili peppers and they come on and they just sound like nothing's different, right? Like that's exactly like they're on the same level. And it's so weird that they're so tiny. It drives me nuts, but I need to cook dinner cause she, Maple Leaf Protocol wiped her out and I'm still going. Explain Maple Leaf Protocol just in case the footage didn't work. Okay, 
So if you guys saw where I was towing Kayla, last year we had gone kayaking on a day much like today, beautiful, gorgeous day, and the wind picked up to like 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour while we were on the water. Granted, it wasn't like the Great Lake, it was still a smaller lake, but uh, big enough that you could drown, right? Any body of water, and we were really fighting to get back, and I was okay, I was doing loops around Kayla, I mean, sort of like trying to push her physically, uh, I just couldn't, I don't move like she does in the water because I'm so much heavier and she just blows across the water like a maple leaf on the water. And so uh, after that, to make sure we were safe and it really bugged me because we had a really hard time getting Kayla back to shore um, to the point where it was, it was actually an issue, um, we bought a rope. And so just today we were out on the water and the wind started kicking up again. And so we enacted what we now call Maple Leaf Protocol, which is tying our kayaks together and then me towing her. Um, but it worked, it worked really well. And it actually really helped my arms. Like I'm feeling the burn really bad. So uh, I'm happy, happy I got a little swole on. So. You just He's like, that is a nice blanket, Mom. Is that Eric Carmen? I'll lay on it too. He is so big. You don't realize how big he is. Well, this looks amazing.